Uh, another guy whose comments were seemingly not taken out of context, that is Giants offensive tackle Evan Neal, <laughs> uh, who you know encouraged the crowd the other night to yeah, keep Bowen uh, or whatever he said, and then was asked about it by NJ Advance Media's Daryl Slater, who seems to have gotten these quotes uh, as an exclusive. And Evan Neal took aim at the fans in a way that you really, you're really you never going to win this way. He talked about, what is that guy up there he's booing? What's he doing? Is he flipping burgers? Yeah, you know what, Evan? He might be flipping burgers. And he's taking the money from flipping those burgers and coming out to see you. And if you take a shot at a guy and talk down to his profession the way that you did, it's never going to come off the right way. So Evan Neal, uh, realizing that, perhaps with the help of the Giants media relations team and some folks in his corner as well, then apologized later on social media, said, I'm wrong for lashing out at the fans. Just as passionate and frustrated as I am, I let my frustrations in my play and desire to win get the best of me. You see the rest of the statement right there. Look, sometimes guys come into the NFL from programs such as Alabama that are extremely successful and not used to hearing the boos and not used to losing games the way that Evan Neal has lost games along with the Giants uh, so far this season. Uh, look, a he's not playing well. Andrew Thomas, the other tackle, didn't play well early in his career, but the Giants got him on the right track to the point where they extended him to a big contract this season. Uh, maybe Andrew Thomas got to have a talk to, uh, to Evan Neal about the reaction from the fans, not saying a word, and getting right, moving in the right direction. Perhaps this will be an early lesson for Evan Neal. Just real quick, and I want to kind of follow on that. This changes things for Evan Neal a little bit. You know, he is a, he's a tackle. Tackles often are not in the spotlight. This puts him in the spotlight, and it really ramps up the pressure for him to perform. And I think Najee Harris is kind of the same way, but he's used to it, and I think his was more calculated. This will force everyone to hyper-focus on how well Evan Neal plays in the future, and the pressure to even more so now is really on. And the Giants have moving parts along that offensive line. They got beat up in the game the other night. They brought in Justin Pugh, as Mike reported, the other day. So we'll see how that unit comes together. But no question, if the offensive line isn't performing better than they did the other night, if the protections aren't set better or whatever was going on that was turning loose free rushers that entire game, it's going to be really hard for Daniel Jones and the rest of that offense to get on track, Saquon Barkley or no Saquon Barkley. Uh